first thing I have to tell you is I apologize. I am just getting over an autumn cold, so I'm a little bit sniffy and a little bit froggy, but we're going to power through. We're going to have a great time nonetheless, and I'm super excited that you're here. Welcome to the Book Marketing Workshop, How to Market, Promote, and Profit from a Nonfiction Business Book and Get the Reviews, Sales, Clients, and Recognition You Deserve. So you are in the right place. You have stumbled into the interwebs at the right time, and uh, this is for you if you're currently writing your nonfiction business book, either your first one or your next one, and you want to make it happen fast. Or as a B2B consultant, business coach, corporate trainer, or speaker, you want a more secure and profitable author expert platform, or you want to get it right the first time and give your book the audience, endorsements, reviews, sales, and recognition it deserves. No matter where you are on that spectrum, we will definitely have something on this masterclass to help you. So here's our game plan. We're going to go deep into pros and cons of self-publishing versus traditional publishing, and both have pros and both have cons. We're going to talk about the writing process, some writing shortcuts, tools, and tactics. More importantly, and this is really the central uh, thesis of our time together today, is how to write a book that they will buy, read, and buy in bulk. We're going to talk about monetizing your book and monetizing your book platform and some pretty cool next steps to help you make it happen. Also, massive Q&A at the end. That's why I said grab your workbook and uh, please jot down your questions. We're not going to stop for questions as we're going through. Uh, this will be fast moving, lots of things to think about, lots of things to write down, but I do want to make sure that all of your questions are answered, so stick around for the Q&A at the end. Also, as a special endurance bonus for folks that hang out till the end, we have a couple of goodies for you for the folks that are live with us at the end of today's training. First thing is our special report called 27 Ways Not to Get Burned, Building Your Business Around Your Book, and also my seven-step book publishing cheat sheet, which if you haven't gotten your hands on that, it's going to be incredibly helpful. And then the third thing, a little bit of a surprise, something crazy good that you will love. So that's our, that's our enticement for the folks to stay who want the endurance bonus. So quick poll right now. Four different options. Simply answer by number. So number one, you, you're here because you want to write your first book. Number two, you're in the middle of writing that first book right now. Three, your book is already published. Or four, you're already a published author and you are ready and want to write the next one. So you're working on your next book, already having gone through the publishing journey at least one time. <clears throat> and again, apologies for the froggy throat. Um, where are you on this spectrum? Are you a one, a two, a three, or a four? Please just pop your numerical answer into the question box and we'll get kind of a good feel for who is where in the process. So Wendy and Brian are twos, Carol is a four, Jeffrey, great to see you, my friend. Jeffrey's a two, Julie is a one, Laura's a four, David is a three, Chris Anderson also a three, uh, Achim, you're a two, Norm, you're a two, Virginia is one, William is a four, Clay, ML, Jake are all twos, Dr. Carney is a three, Penny is a four, Tim is a three, Lloyd is a two, John and Randy coming in with fours, same with Nelson, Teresa and Connie are ones, Tuli is a four and GH is a two. Wow, I feel like I just went down like some kind of football playbook, but that was fun. Okay, excellent. So nice spread across the board, nice spread across the board. Let me share with you my publishing journey and sort of the good, the bad, the ugly, and how it all started. So 2004, 2004, the dark ages of 2004. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. I was bored and I was broke. And I heard a lot of people pointing their finger in my face going, you need to write a book. If you want to be considered a serious expert, a serious speaker, a serious coach, you need to write a book. And uh, my business at that time was all over the map. I had no focus. I had no specific expertise. I certainly had no clients. And I believed all the hype about write a book, write a book, write a book, got to write a book. And so there were a couple of uh, speed bumps along the way. This is my first try at publishing a book. It's called Relish, the Highly Authorized Guide to Life. My first try I call extreme self-publishing, XSP. XSP stands for extreme self-publishing. Now, you might think based on this Amazon screenshot, hey guys, this is a collector's item. Look, it's out of print, it's limited availability. Well, this was probably the worst selling business book of all time. Like I said, had a lot of time on my hands. To the best of my knowledge, Amazon only stocks about eight or nine million business books. Somehow my rank on this book was 16,669,315. How that's possible to rank 16 million out of uh, a total of eight or nine million books on the platform, I don't know, but I managed to do it. I managed to do it. 
So what were some mistakes that I made in that extreme self-publishing mode? Number one, I didn't have any specific readers in mind. I didn't have any specific audience in mind. You've heard of build it and they will come. The book equivalent is write it and they will come. And absolutely not, absolutely not. So it is very, very important to have a exact type of reader, type of corporate prospect, type of executive decision maker that you have in your mind when you're writing that book, if you want that book to be a business development engine. Mistake number two, I had no sales plan for this book. I figured I'm gonna put it on Amazon. Amazon has millions of visitors every single day. I'm sure people will just bump into the book, see the brilliant cover, which I designed myself, see the brilliant cover and fork over 15 or 20 bucks and buy my book. Well, any book with no sales strategy, no matter what platform you put it on, is not going to sell. Which brings us to mistake number three, no strategy for integrating that book into my business so that the topic alignment from the book that I was writing and the business that I was running, there was no alignment. There was no strategy. In fact, there was no connection. It was almost like a fortune cookie business book. I was just putting little random blurbs and insights and uh, you know, no topic focus, no reader focus, no strategic focus. And there was very little chance in hindsight that anybody who read my book would say, man, this guy knows everything about my problems. I'm gonna hire him immediately. So please don't make those three mistakes. That's, that's really bad. And I got so frustrated at this extreme self-publishing experience that I started to study the masters. I'm talking about people that I knew, people that I looked up to, uh, actual mentors, actual friends, virtual mentors, virtual friends. So Seth Godin, Jeffrey Gittimer, Michael Dalton Johnson, Brian Tracy, my friend Jay Bear. Um, I really dug in and, and looked and observed, how do you launch a book? How do you market a book? How do you put a book out into the marketplace with some specific promotion? And then I'll tell you, I got obsessed. And uh, hundreds of hours of research, I interviewed over 50 authors and experts who had published very successful books, tapped into their secrets and methods, took the best of what I learned, and I implemented like a crazy person. I tweaked, I tested, I put my own spin on it. And then once I had some working knowledge of how this whole system actually works, I started to do this for clients. So this is my client and friend, Ford Myers. I helped him with the book proposal. I helped him get an agent using the book proposal. With the agent and the book proposal, we got a book deal for uh, about a $10,000 advance with John Wiley and Sons. Uh, we helped him build a seminar and a corporate workshop around the ideas in the book for which he got paid around $8,000 a day. We then came out with a kind of a user's guide, same content that was in the book, but put in a binder, came with some audio companion CDs and another CD. This was, yes, this was back in 2008. So we had CDs, um, with CDs of templates, tools, scripts, forms, all that good stuff. And we had a regular edition that sold for $97 and a deluxe edition that sold for $197, just reformatting the content of this book, putting it in a three ring binder and calling it the ultimate career guide. Then we had the certification program. So Ford himself is a career consultant, but he wanted to give the toolkit to other career consultants. So then we had a licensing program that I helped him to build out. So each licensee paid $10,000 to become an ultimate career consultant, which gave them the intellectual property rights to use everything in the ultimate career guide and all the tools and forms in their own career coaching practice. And then he started to get a lot more premium coaching clients himself to the tune of $6,000 for a short program, $9,000 for a longer program. So the career coaching was 6K for a 90 day engagement and 9K for a six month engagement, all of which came because he now had the platform and the credibility of the book. So after eight tries, all this crazy self-publishing that I did on my own, I finally figured some things out with do it marketing and then do it speaking and most recently with do it selling. All three of these best selling business books uh, traditionally published, translated into multiple languages, hundreds and hundreds of reviews. We'll talk about the stats, the graphs, the charts here in a moment, but uh, it didn't start out this way. The reason I'm sharing this kind of crazy, ugly backstory is it did not start this way by any stretch of the imagination. So let's talk about getting it right. Uh, the Do It Marketing book, that was the first of my three best-selling books, this stayed at the top of the Amazon charts for 39 months, continuously, 39 months. So it came out in June of 2013, the screenshots taken in July of 2016. We did a pre-launch actually in April of 2013 that I'll show you some charts and graphs about that in a moment. But a full 39 months after the book is available for sale, it's still in the top 20,000 out of over 8 million books on Amazon. That, for the math majors, that is the top quarter of 
not in a category, but of all books sold on Amazon, including Harry Potter and the Bible. So literally top one quarter of 1% of all books sold on Amazon. This is what I'm talking about. This is way, I'm way more proud of this, by the way, than all of my Amazon number one, number three, number five, the bestseller list. We hit all the bestseller lists and I'm, I'm gonna go into that in a moment as well. But hitting a bestseller list at a random Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. and taking screenshots, anyone can game the system and do that. That doesn't really sell books. Being able to do what's on this chart, week in and week out, month in and month out, year in and year out, after your book is published, that's what sells books and that's what brings you business. So we're gonna talk a little bit later about the marathon and the sprint of Amazon and you have to win the sprint in order to get to run the marathon. But I just wanted to share with you that this is, uh, I'm way more proud of this chart than all of our number one rankings and uh, we stayed on the number one position for a number of weeks with each of the books. All right, so getting it right number two is you have to write a good book. So the Do It Marketing book, I like to think was a fairly decent book. I think we're north of uh, 400 reviews at this point. I should probably update this uh, screenshot that says 271. Uh, the Do It Selling book right now is up to 135 reviews. That's got a 94% or 93% rating. So uh, I think frankly, just between you, me and the lamppost, the Do It Selling book is the best out of all three, at least that's what the reviews say. And I tend to agree with them. And then getting it right number three is just a whole slew of awards that we won. So the uh, Small Business Book Awards, uh, Do It Marketing and 80-20 Sales and Marketing tied for the best small business book of 2014. Uh, we had a Change This Manifesto by 800 CEO Read. So the Do It Marketing Manifesto was published by them when the book came out. MSNBC called this one of the best small business books of 2014. Don't tell them, but it was published in 2013. But I guess you qualify for the awards the next year. So that's where the, the difference is there. And then a ton of uh, podcasts and interviews and features and uh, all kinds of things. So that page on our old website just went down for about three or four screens. So success factors that you need to know about. Number one, alignment between the book and the expertise that you get paid for. Number two, focus on the book as a business unto itself. Number three is having a strategy to sell more books day in, day out, week in, week out, not just flash in the pan book launch, but evergreen strategy many ways that you're going to want to monetize your platform and then partners this is very very important partners to endorse your book the book blurbs partners to contribute to your book if you want to do what i did and i'll talk about that a little bit later as well and most importantly is launch partners partners that are willing to tell the world about your new book and those partners will typically have uh, list size and reach and um, an email database and a social following much much larger than yours so we'll talk about that as well so my friends, I get it. I started at zero. I made every mistake in the book. I made the good ones twice. Nothing we're talking about today is theory or maybes or guesses. These are all hard earned from my own experience as well as coaching and mentoring over a hundred other business book authors. And this is exactly what I've done in my business to sell over 15,000 books. So we're gonna break it down. By the way, uh, that 15,000 number might not sound impressive. And I guess in the scope of things, if you're a mega celebrity, uh, it's not impressive. I am not a mega celebrity. And I'm guessing that you're not either. But uh, did you know that only 1%, 1% of all business books sell more than 5,000 copies during their entire lifetime? Let me repeat that statistic for you. 1%, one out of 100 business books ever published will ever get more than 5,000 sales during the entire lifetime of that book being in print. So with that as the bar, selling 15,000 books and uh, upwards uh, is quite an accomplishment for a pretty much no-name, nobody, non-celebrity like me. And I'm guessing a no-name, non-celebrity like you. So let's talk about how that breaks down. I mentioned we did a pre-launch. Pre-launch was in April and main launch was in May. And the bargain bin zone, just in case you're not familiar with Amazon statistics, is anything below about 200,000 in Amazon rank uh, is going to be uh, the bargain bin zone. And when I mean, below 200,000, I mean numbers higher than 200,000. So the best-selling book on Amazon right now, its rank is number one, right? You saw this, and this is also uh, same thing over here, is 19,000 is in the top 20,000. That 19,000 number, again, just for reference, is in the top one quarter of 1% of all books sold on Amazon. Getting there, there's one aspect to getting there where you can game the system, but then you drop right off again. Staying there is the key. And that's what we're talking about. All the strategies today, we're gonna to talk about staying there. So on the left is the typical curve, sales curve of that kind of instant overnight bestseller, take the screenshot at Tuesday at 2 a.m. before 
uh, it goes away. And then maybe they were on a podcast and maybe they were, you know, did an email to their list, but generally it is firmly in that bargain bin zone. So what does it take to get out of the bargain bin zone? Well, there is this logarithmic scale here on the right, uh, and I put the arrow at 20,000. So how many books do you have to sell per week? Because the left-hand side axis here is copies sold per week. How many copies do you have to sell to be Amazon ranked 20,000 or better? And the answer, my friends, is 40. So you can see it's a logarithmic scale, which means that the numbers start big and then they get smaller as you go up, so the distance becomes smaller. But if you look at that first line where the number 10 is, second line is 20, third line is 30, fourth line is 40, where those two lines intersect is my cute little yellow dot. So my job, your job on Amazon is 40 books a week. 40 books a week, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. Keep that engine primed, keep Amazon primed, keep your audience primed, keep your followers primed so that you sell a consistent number of books and hopefully that number will grow. It's not just 40 books a week, but 40 books a week becomes 60 books a week and then 100 books a week and then maybe 150 books a week and so on and so forth. So you want to uh, you want to know how this game works and you want to know how this game is won. So let's talk about the book launch basics. I mentioned that it's both a marathon and a sprint and you have to win the sprint so that you get to run the marathon. I'm a big believer in an evergreen book launch. So people would say to me, well, David, when are the book bonuses going away? Uh, the book bonuses never go away. When do you stop giving out book bonuses? Uh, I'm never going to stop giving out book bonuses. So whether you buy do it marketing today, whether you buy do it speaking today, whether you buy do it selling today, those pages and those URLs that are listed in those three books, they are still up and running. They are still active. They are still giving out all of the companion trainings, tools, downloads, videos, worksheets that came with each of those books. So again, this is long-term thinking, playing the long game and the short game at the same time. I will tell you it's important to prime the pump on Amazon. So that means both sales and reviews. So having a spike in sales, all the pre-orders, in case you didn't know, all the pre-orders count to your day one book sales. So that's how we're able to amass enough volume to hit and hopefully stay in the top five rankings within a given category, not just for a day or for an hour, but for weeks and or months. But so it's important to prime the pump. Uh, it's also important to prime the pump with the Amazon recommendation engine. So you all shop on Amazon, you've bought some things, and then Amazon sends you an email. Hey, if you like Mark Hunter's book, you might like David Newman's book. Hey, if you like David Newman's book, you might like Anthony Inarino's book. Hey, if you bought Anthony's book, you may want uh, Andy's new book, and so on and so forth. So that recommendation engine, Amazon doesn't do that for you unless it sees a significant and consistent number of sales. Let me repeat that, significant and consistent number of sales and a significant and consistent flow of reviews. So the reviews are very, very important to the credibility and the gravitas that your book has on Amazon. Other places to uh, set up shop, if you will, and make sure your book has a good platform is Goodreads, which is now owned by Amazon, but it's still a separate platform, and then business book bloggers. So I can't emphasize enough guest blogging, being featured by other people around your book on podcasts and interviews, all of which leads back to your empire, all of which leads back to people being aware of your book and buying your book and hopefully opting in to your world to pick up the book bonuses and companion tools. And then of course, as much social media promotion and engagement that those partners can give you and that you can give yourself. Now, one of the best things that you can do, obviously, is when you're launching a book is to get media, be the media. So some of you know the story that from 2013 to about 2020, our primary, primary um, offer was called the Speaker Profit Formula. And during that time, I think starting in 2017 is when we started the podcast, the podcast was called The Speaking Show because we were all about speaking, 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 and speakers, speakers, speakers. March of 2020 came along and uh, we were no longer all about speakers, speakers, speakers. We were around experts and uh, experts who speak, experts who coach, experts who consult. And then in preparation for the Do It Selling book, it made sense to change the podcast from the speaking show to the selling show. And that is exactly what we did. So we kept all of the old episodes and uh, we simply rebranded the podcast because I wanted to interview other sales authors, sales experts, interview other people that were doing interesting things in sales because in preparation for the sales book coming out, that made the most sense. So that is an example of the to get media, be the media and shift your platform to support the book that you're writing. All right, let's shift gears and let's talk about traditional publishing versus self-publishing and some things to consider. I mentioned pros and cons on both sides and there are pros and cons. 
on both sides. I'm just gonna take a little sip of uh, spin drift here and I'll be right with you. Let's talk about traditional first. And I'm curious, in the question box, um, type in if you're leaning towards or have already worked with a traditional publisher, just type in traditional. In the question box, if you're leaning towards or have already decided to go self-publishing, type in self, just to get a feel for kind of who's where in their leanings right now. If you're looking at traditional publishing or have already gone down that route, type in traditional in the question box. If you're already committed to or have decided on self-publishing, type in self. Self, 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 traditional, traditional, traditional. Interesting, again, about a 50-50 split. All right, cool. Well, good news. No one's right and no one's wrong, but here's how to make the decision if you have not already. A traditional publisher has some level of credibility. So there is some level of good enough for Harper Collins, good enough for me. Good enough for McGraw Hill, good enough for me. Good enough for John Wiley and Sons, good enough for me. When an economic buyer reads a book, some of them are savvy with this, some of them really don't care. Some of them are even unaware and a lot of self-publishing and hybrid publishing, the actual quality of the book is now the same or better than a traditionally published book. But for you as the author, the traditional publishing house takes care of all the production costs. So you don't pay anything for cover design, layout, indexing, all of that. Uh, and that can really add up very, very quickly to $15,000 or more. Problem of course, is that when you sell books, your profit margin is tiny. So it could literally be 75 cents, a buck, a buck 50, $2 per book on the high end, even if the book sells for 20 bucks or 25 bucks. Uh, big plus number one is distribution. So traditional publishing, you will likely be in a bookstore. You will likely be on all of the platforms, Google, Apple, uh, electronic, and uh, traditional hard copy. Uh, your book will be available for distribution worldwide in almost every English speaking country if you go with a traditional publisher. Big plus number two, and I think this is less important these days, but if you want your book reviewed in the New York Times or the Baltimore Sun or the Miami Herald or TV or traditional or satellite radio, major media has a big bias against self-published books. Traditionally published books have a much better chance of getting major media reviews if that's important to you. And then big plus number three, of course, is foreign rights. So having your book translated, having people at the publisher actually sell your book to their international publishing partners, the Do It uh, marketing book was actually published in six languages. I could only find four cover designs though. So uh, Russian is here, uh, Portuguese, Durbina Sio Marketing, yeah. The Portuguese people love me. I'm, I'm very big in Brazil. Arabic, two versions of Chinese, and the book cover that I could not find is Thai. So uh, in Thailand, also very big, very big. Just like Jerry Lewis, very big in France. I am huge in Thailand. All of this was arranged for by the publisher. Each of these translations generated between two and $5,000 into my pocket for the foreign translation rights. Um, I, I kind of like the Russian one. It just looks badass. It looks just like the English edition, <laughs> except it's in Russian. Uh, same thing with Arabic. Uh, Arabic is pretty badass too. Um, never sure how to sign these books. I guess I'm gonna have to sign them in English and endorse them in English when people say, can you sign my book? It's like, well, I sure can't sign them in Arabic. So you'll have to do with, uh, with the language that I know. Anyway, let's talk about self-publishing and the pros and cons on this side. Self-publishing is fantastic. You have complete and, and uh, dictatorial control of every aspect of your book, and you will get it done much, much faster than a traditional publisher. The moment a traditional publisher says yes to you, you are in for an 18 month to two year wait. The moment a traditional publisher says yes to you, 18 months to two years until you hold that book in your hands. Self-publishing, you can have it in your hands in six weeks. Self-publishing, it is expensive to produce and that expense falls on you, but a very big profit margin. So if your books cost you four or $5 to print and you sell them for 20, even after Amazon's cut, you're making $6, $8, $10 a book, uh, as opposed to 75 cents, $1, buck 50, $2. So literally four times to five times the profit margin on a self-published book, sometimes even more, Big minus one, you do not get built-in distribution. You have to do that on your own. Big minus number two, for the most part, no major media reviews. And big minus three, no foreign rights. Now I will say, with all three of these minuses, if you have money, all of these problems are solvable. So for example, my friend Amy Collins runs a company called New Shelves. They do distribution for self-published books. You wanna be in bookstores, you wanna be in gift shops, you wanna be wherever you wanna be, you can pay for distribution. There's a number, of pay to play um, media reviews. 
uh, including some things that you might not know were pay to play, like Kirkus Reviews and Publishers Weekly and Library Journal. So if those kinds of reviews are important to you, and some people would say they are, uh, that's a few hundred dollars to submit your book for a review. You have no control over what that review says. They might love the book, they might hate the book, and that's, you know, you're rolling the dice there. And then again, foreign rights, you can hire, you can hire a specialist to shop your book around to some foreign publishers. So all of these are fixable. I'm just saying this is what's baked into the traditional path, and this is also what's baked in to the self-publishing path. All right, I'm taking another sip, and we're now going to transition to some writing shortcuts, tools, and tactics, but we'll get to that after this next sip of Spindrift. And yes, this masterclass is sponsored by the fine folks over at Spindrift, spindrift.com. Smooth, bubbly, and refreshing. I'm kidding, it's not sponsored by anybody, but I figured I'd fill the time by saying that. I think we should get sponsors, by the way. Just between you and me, why not? Let's get some sponsors to pony up some money. Um, I've spent enough money on Spindrift, that's for sure. All right, writing. Here is my mantra, four words, write short, market hard. If you look at the true business bestsellers that have sold not just a couple thousand books, not just a couple 10,000 books, but literally hundreds of thousands or millions of books, most of these books are short. Most of these books are short. And we're gonna talk about the advantages of a short book, and there's about five of them that you need to know about. Who moved my cheese? 10 million copies sold. Small book, 96 pages. Fish, 4 million copies sold, 107 pages long. That's all it is. One Minute Manager, 9 million copies sold, 111 pages. And by the way, these pages are light. These pages have a lot of white space. These pages have big margins. These pages have illustrations and pictures and graphics. So what works today is books that are short. The War of Art, Stephen Pressfield, 360,000 copies sold. That's an excellent, amazing book if you haven't read it. 190 light pages. I'm gonna show you the inside of some of these books here in a minute. My buddy Phil Jones, exactly what to say, over a million copies sold. Another fantastic book, by the way. Uh, I highly recommend that if you have not picked up and read The War of Art, if you have not picked up and read exactly what to say, you should run to Amazon right now, put those two in your shopping cart, and you will thank me later. But uh, Phil's book, over a million copies sold, 130 pages, and again, light. Big pull quotes, big graphics. Uh, big typography, very bold, easy to read design. So if you're going to write your next book, it should be short. And I am going to tell you exactly why. Writing the right book that will bring you Fortune 500 clients, Inc. 5000 clients that CEOs, executives, and entrepreneurs will read is very, very important. Some of y'all may be writing the wrong book. The right book, here are the criteria. Easy to read. Easy to read, the left-hand side here is an interior shot of the War of Art. Notice what I said, big margins, lots of white space, short paragraphs. About half the pages are these little half pages. Some of the pages are actually one sentence, one sentence. Easy to read, easy to write, easy to buy, easy to buy in bulk. In other words, selling books by the carton, selling 50 books or 300 books or 1,000 books to a corporate sponsor or an association or a conference. The other reason that you don't wanna write a big 300 page wall of text business book is because this format is fun, it's different, and it stands out. It's fun, it's different, and it stands out. Whether people are browsing it in a physical bookstore or looking at Amazon, look inside the book, people will say, oh my gosh, this book looks so cool. This book looks so easy to read. There's lots of sub chapters. There's lots of goodies in here that I can get uh, my feet wet with. So please remember this five point mantra, easy to read, easy to write. Easy, to, easy for you to write, easy to buy, easy to buy in bulk, and you want to make the book not just sound different, you want to make the book be different with a fun format that is distinct and stands out from all the other dense, hard to read wall of text business books out there. So I'm gonna encourage you not to even write a book. Don't write a book. Here's the mantra, write half a book. Write half a book, my friends. High level people don't have time to read. The flight from New York to Chicago is two hours and 13 minutes. Your book should be readable on the runway in New York, finish it by the time you land in Chicago. Two hours and 13 minutes reading time. Why? Because you won't get hired from a book they don't finish. Small books can have a huge impact. Will they start the book? Sure, they'll probably start the book, but then they'll stop about one third of the way to halfway through because they don't have time. So don't write a 300 page book. Write a 125 page book that they're gonna finish, get off the plane in Chicago, write you an email, or send you, uh, send you a message 
and say, we have to talk. I need you in my company. We need this kind of thinking. Do you do training? Do you do consulting? Do you do coaching? We need some help. So small books have a huge, huge impact. Here's some more examples. Again, just the interior of some very best selling, uh, some very high selling and best selling business books. So who moved my cheese? And this is from the inside of the relish book. And uh, there's all kinds of other fun things there. So what's the best first step that you can take if you're in the writing process? Best first step you can take is open up a Word document or open up a Google Doc, say file new. At the top of that file, just type in the words, the book or my book. And what you're going to do in this empty Word document is you are going to start collecting, collating, copying, pasting, and linking to all of the raw material that you would like to include in your book. I cannot tell you how liberating this is. And for those of you that have written a book and you've done it this way, uh, just the collating process, the, the collecting, the organizing of the ideas and thoughts, that starts, when the book starts to take shape, no matter how raw, no matter how unfinished, no matter how unsequenced, it is a magic moment and is a driving force to help you finish the book. So let's talk about some shortcuts. I mentioned collect, curate, and compile. Put everything, just literally copy and paste, and it can be ugly. It wants to be ugly. It needs to be ugly. Put it into that Word document or that Google Doc. What are you going to collect? What are you going to compile? You're going to take all of the principles that you're teaching your clients, all the things that you're consulting on and coaching on and speaking on and training on, the practices, the insights, the action steps that you share with every client. And you're also going to include some motivation and some inspiration and some you-isms. You-isms are those phrases and sound bites and uh, sort of catchphrases that you're known for. So for example, if you asked our clients, well, what does David always talk about when it comes to sales? Uh, well, David always talks about MMA. So there's a rant about money-making activity. David always talks about sales monkey work and how to avoid sales monkey work, like cold calling and ads and spam and all of that. So I'm gonna collect or just catalog all of those you-isms and the I have me-isms and you have you-isms. So think of it as you're building a manifesto around your thought leadership and around your intellectual property. Initially, don't even worry. If you have blog posts or PowerPoints or other kinds of things, those can come later. Right now, I just want you to brain dump, brain dump into that master document so you have them. And what are your recommendations, right? What's right with the world? What's wrong with the world? What's the advice that you give clients and listeners and readers and subscribers all the time? What are some contrarian ahas that you always share that need to go in the book? Then the next step is you're going to organize, select, and sequence those. So what do I mean by that? You have a whole bunch of raw material. It's in no particular order. It is all over the place. It's just literally a brain blurb, brain dump. And you're going to grab a stack of post-it notes or a stack of index cards, and you are going to start to organize or categorize which ideas go together. And you can do this with a mind map. You can do this on a flip chart if you're a flip chart kind of person. If you have a whiteboard in your office, you can even do it in a big 8.5 by 11 notebook. So this is what it looks like on a whiteboard, and this is what it looks like if you were to do it in a notebook. Have a look at that for a minute. I'm going back to my spin drift for a quick sip. All right, so that is the next step, is to start to collate, curate, organize, color code the ideas. Now, that's not gonna be necessarily a complete picture. I'm gonna encourage you to supplement what you've just done with three additional sources. One is files that may be on your computer, so presentations that you've given, blogs that are on your website, LinkedIn articles or LinkedIn newsletters that you've published. Uh, the second thing is look on your bookshelf. Look in your program binders that you've created for clients, Look in your hard copy files, handouts, notes, uh, documents, templates that you've created. And then the third place to supplement from is what has never been written down? What has never been committed to paper, but it relates to the content of your book? So what's kind of stuck between your ears and it needs to be written down, codified, and expanded? So once you've done the brain dump, once you've collected all of the goodies and links and resources that are sitting on your hard drive, once you've looked at your hard copy files and notebooks and binders and filing cabinets, and once you've also done an inventory of what's between your ears that you've never written down or never talked about publicly, then you have about 80% of the book is done. And you can take a nice big exhale breath. So you can get going on this right now. My friend Sally Hogsett had a brilliant, brilliant quote about writing a book for a business expert, business consultant, coach, trainer, speaker. She says, writing a book is like pointing an aircraft carrier in a certain direction. Everything goes with it. So an aircraft carrier is never out at sea by itself. 
it's always accompanied by a destroyer and a battleship and a submarine and a supply ship and you know all kinds of other support vehicles, uh, tankers to refuel the aircraft that are on the aircraft carrier, et cetera. So literally when you point that aircraft carrier, the aircraft carrier kind of makes a 10 degree turn to the right, everybody else makes a 10 degree turn to the right. So the, the direction that you want your business to go, if the business is truly gonna support the book and the book is truly gonna support the business, please listen to my friend Sally, writing a book is like pointing an aircraft carrier in a certain direction, everything goes with it. And that is a great thing. And that's about alignment. We'll talk about that next, about monetizing your book and your author platform. So I promised you 12 different revenue streams built around the concept in your book. So this could take the form of workbooks. My friend David Side runs a fantastic company called minibook.com. Some of you are familiar with minibook or you have a minibook already. Uh, keynote speech, multi-day training, consulting contracts, coaching agreements, bulk book sales where you're selling the book in bulk if it's the right kind of book. You're selling the book in bulk to companies, corporations, associations, groups, conferences, you could build out a membership website around the themes of the book, mentoring programs, VIP days, sponsorships, licensing, and certification programs. So I showed you the profit centers around my friend Ford Meyer's book, which is Get the Job You Want Even When No One's Hiring. Uh, we did about six of these. We did about six different profit centers around that book, including workbooks, including keynote, including training, including coaching, including uh, licensing and certification of other consultants to teach that material. So I want you to think about seriously, uh, not just money from the book, but money because of the book. Money because of the book is where you'll make the majority of your revenue. So let's talk about royalties. I get a lot of questions about royalties and advances. I just said, you're not gonna get much revenue from the book, but you are gonna get some revenue because of the book. But that's not necessarily true. If you go traditional publishing, uh, most publishing houses these days are gonna pay you between a five and a $10,000 advance. Most are $7,500. That's kind of the sweet spot for a first time author. Uh, second level author, a little bit more fame, a little bit more platform, a little bit notoriety, anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000 advances. And again, most are in that sweet spot around $12,000. And then, of course, level three, there is no limit. Big celebrities, sports, politics, pop culture, proven platform, they've got the secret sauce. They're on TV. You and I are not on TV. And uh, there's often a bidding war, and that could go into the hundreds of thousands, sometimes even millions of dollars for a book advance if your last name is presidential or celebrity related. So let's talk about this crazy concept of you should write a book, you should write a book, you should write a book. You should write a book, but not just to have the book. You should write a book so that you have alignment with the book and the rest of your business. So let me walk you through what our alignment looks like. So yes, we have a do it marketing book that you can get for 20 bucks, but we also have an online coaching program based on those same ideas for 3000 bucks. We have a two day retreat for 10,000 bucks. We have a private VIP day for $15,000. We have a mentor program for $24,000. We have our Do It Marketing Certified Consultant Program for $30,000, and we have our Elite Mastermind Group for $48,000. So yes, you might come into our world because of a $20 book, but you are gonna spend 10 times or hundreds of times what you invested in that $20 book, because I gotta admit, we're lovable, we're delightful, we're incredibly good at what we do, and we're incredibly good at helping clients get results. So we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you on something. One day, something's gonna be so good and so tempting and so amazing that you are gonna fork over a lot more than 20 bucks. And similarly, in your world, you are so good and you are so delightful and you are so amazing that your fans and followers and subscribers, they will also start with a $20 book and they will probably end up paying you thousands or tens of thousands of dollars for the professional services that you provide. So this alignment piece is really vital. All right, another little spin drift break. So here's what this is all about, my friends. It's about helping more people, whether they just buy the $20 book and leave it at that. I love when people say, David, I bought your book, I spent the 20 bucks and I made a sale the next day and you're incredible and you're amazing and they never come back for anything else. And you're gonna have the same thing happen with your nonfiction business book. So helping more people, yes, it's gonna generate money both because of the book and from the book, mainly because of the book though, turning fans and readers into clients and attracting a whole bunch of new ones boosting your reach and revenue and reputation. And again, not to repeat number one, but being of service to your audience, being genuinely helpful, being genuinely useful and putting something in their hands that they will thank you for. So while you showed up today, again, not 100% sure exactly which one of these is your situation. You're tired of hearing you should write a book, but not knowing where to begin. And hopefully now you know where to begin. You wanna impact more people, raise your fees and stop being a best kept secret. 
Or like me, deep down in your entrepreneurial heart, you know that publishing a book is the key to better clients, bigger deals, and higher fees. So your decision is about information, because this information probably by itself is not going to cut it. And uh, what I'd like to offer you is a system and some accountability and some personalized mentoring. So at this point, you have a choice, my friends. Life is all about choices at every moment. You can do it slowly using trial and error and some of what I shared today, or you can do it fast and join me for, drum roll please, we're just doing a kind of imaginary drum roll because I can't hear your drum roll and I don't want to beat on my desk. So here is the special invitation. We are doing another edition of our business book domination mentoring program. We're going to spend the next six weeks together working on how to write and market and profit from a nonfiction business book using some of the principles and ideas that we talked about today and help you get the reviews and sales and clients and recognition that you deserve. So these are some of the books that we have helped to put out into the marketplace. Some of these authors came to us with the book already written. I know there's a bunch of people here that are in that situation. Some other folks came to us with the book not already written, and we helped them write the right kind of book with the right kind of content for the right kind of reason. So this is my friend Jessica Pettit, Good Enough Now, Save Yourself from Burnout, Nelson Cabral's fantastic book called The Creative Storm, Say It Now, Say It Right, Winning Well from my friends Karen and David, the insightful leader from Carland Ferguson, from presentation to standing ovation, What's Your And by John Garrett, and of course, Ford Myers. I already showed you the kind of deeper dive case study success story with Ford. As I'm looking at these slides, it's funny. I see a lot of orange and a lot of blue. Uh, if your book cover happens not to be orange and not to be blue, I can still help you. But uh, it's just a funny pattern now that I look at this slide and all of our clients' books that are on this particular PowerPoint. So the book marketing workshop, if we sold that just by itself to help you design and launch your book marketing campaigns to maximize sales, that would go for 3K on its own. The book writing workshop that we're also including here to help you brainstorm, outline, and format your best-selling business book, uh, that would be another 5K, but we're throwing in some extras. We're throwing in some extras here. So I'm gonna give you a book proposal training. So if you're going down the traditional publishing route, uh, book proposal do's and don'ts, including six complete book proposals that sold. These aren't theory, these aren't models, these are actually book proposals that sold to a traditional publisher. I think the smallest advance, the smallest advance is probably mine, which was $10,000. And the biggest advance in all of these six, I think was $100,000. So the guys that wrote the Oz Principle uh, and one of the follow-ups in that series of books, they were already very well established, had a nice platform, got a six-figure advance for their book. So I'm gonna share six different nonfiction business book Proposal start to finish and a model template that you can use. So we're talking about the book marketing workshop, the book writing workshop, and the book proposal workshop, step-by-step -step training, proposal template, and the six complete samples. If we stopped right there, it would be $10,991, but we're doing everything right now for 2997. So 2997. The place to get enrolled is businessbookdomination.com. And Rachel's gonna put that URL in the chat so it's one click away. I'm gonna walk you through a couple more bonuses and then we'll get to our Q&A, but if this is something that you're vibing on, if this is something that you're ready to get going on and you want my personal help, I'm gonna share some of the bonuses and some other things that I'm throwing on this time. This is also probably the last time that I'm doing this. So the time before, uh, we did this in, um, I think it was spring of 2019. I just did a group, Jeffrey was part of the group, a couple other people, Annie was part of the group, uh, that we did this back in February of this year. That was immediately before and leading up to my Do It Selling book launch. This is a few months after, so I'm gonna give you the breakdown and the play-by-play -play and exactly what worked and what didn't with my most recent book launch. By the way, the, the spoiler is most things worked. Um, and I'm probably not gonna do this again because of course I'm not gonna launch another book for another good number of years. So if this is your time, I would encourage you, pop over to Business Book Domination Dot com. As I walk you through the rest of the bonuses, obviously we will talk about those and the folks that are signing up right now, you will qualify for all of these bonuses as well. First thing I will tell you is if $29.97 is too much for right now, we also have a three installment plan. So you can literally get started for only $1,100 today. It is three monthly installments of $1,100 in month one, $1,100 in month two, $1,100 in month three, or you can do the single payment, save about 300 bucks and do the single pay for 29.97. But I know that people have different, you know, some people are savers and some people are stretchers. So if you want to stretch it out over the three payments, it's three payments of 1100. And when you go to businessbookdomination.com, this is what the page looks like. You can choose the three pay option or it will default to the one pay option that you see there on the top line. So either way is good. 
Either way, you qualify for all of the bonuses and all of the goodies I'm talking about right now. The second thing you need to know is I know that you will love this program and I am 100% backing that up. So you have a 100% money back guarantee. You are totally covered. I got your back. If you don't love this for any reason, bold, underline, all caps, any reason, <laughs> you're going to get a full 30 days. Sign up, join us. It is, we're spending six weeks together. 30 days is four out of the six weeks. So you will get a full 30 days to experience everything I'm going to share with you. Watch all of the training, come on all of the coaching calls, download all of the resources. And if it's not among the best investments you've ever made, we will gladly buy it back from you with a 100% refund. So this is like ironclad, bulletproof. I am putting my money where my mouth is, and this is completely risk-free for you in every possible way. So I'm gonna encourage you, get signed up right now at Business Book Domination. I'm gonna walk through a couple more bonuses. I'm gonna ask you, we're gonna have a Q&A. So please start writing down your questions for the Q&A about any of the teaching today, any of the book marketing, book writing, book publishing concepts that we taught today. Uh, and as they say in infomercial world, but wait, there's more. I'm also gonna throw in as a bonus, the build your team training, which includes a list, a database of 25, actually more than 25, uh, literary agents who specialize in business books, plus exactly what to say and send to get those book endorsements that I talked about, how to enroll book launch partners to help you launch your book in a very big, significant way, and how to get book reviews, how to ask for book reviews, and how to get book reviews from bloggers and book reviewers on Amazon and Goodreads and so forth. So that build your team training. No one does anything great alone. Uh, you will probably want an agent. You will definitely want an agent for traditional publishing. So I have the updated list of business book centralizing agents, book endorsements, book launch partners, book reviewers are the rest of your team. And exactly step-by-step -step granular how to do all of those things to build out your team for success. So again, that's at businessbookdomination.com is where you enroll. We're doing the book marketing workshop. We're doing the book writing workshop to help you brainstorm, outline, format your best-selling business book, the book proposal workshop, including six complete samples, and the build your team bonus, how to land an agent, how to get A-list endorsements, launch partners, and your initial batch of 30 to 40 book reviews. If we stopped right there, that would be a total of 12,988. But as you know, I'm a little bit of an overachiever. So I'm also gonna give you my fill in the blanks bestseller book template. This is literally a Word document that is laid out like a five by eight business book of the exact type that I'm encouraging you to write. It's got the headers, it's got the footers, it's got the formatting, it's got the page numbering. So as you're typing into this fill in the blanks bestseller book template, you will literally see your book come to life in front of your eyes. The folks that have gone, we've had about 100 authors come through this training over the years. Uh, every one of them, the comment has been, oh my gosh, that fill in the blanks bestseller template, when I started typing into that, I felt like I was writing a real book because the book, the headers, the footers, the formatting, the spacing, the place for the images, the pull quotes, all of that starts to take shape in front of your very eyeballs. And it is an amazing feeling, it's an empowering feeling, and it keeps you going through that writing process so that you don't stop when you're 80% done, but you actually cross the finish line and get this puppy done. So taking all of that together, we're gonna spend six weeks together on the book marketing workshop. We're gonna have some special pop-up sessions for book writing, the book proposal training with the template and the six complete uh, sample proposals that sold, the build your team training, how to land an agent, A-list endorsements, launch partners, and book reviews, the fill in the blanks bestseller template, which is the pre-formatted book master template to make sure that the book you're writing is easy to write, easy to read, easy to buy, and easy to buy in bulk. Everything all together would be 16,985. You're getting everything for $29.97 when you pop over to businessbookdomination.com. Oh, I know, we're gonna get to the Q&A in a second, but I gotta keep going. So I love action takers. I love people that know what they want and jump in, especially with the 30-day 100% risk-free money-back guarantee. So for the folks that come on right now, who enroll right now and during our Q&A that's coming up in a couple of minutes, one-on-one -on -one publishing strategy call with me, a $1,000 value, that is gonna be limited to the first 10 people only who enroll right now and during our Q&A. So if this is for you, you already know it, and your heart knows it, and your head knows it, and you're heading over to businessbookdomination.com. 
And if that's you, I would be happy to gift you a 60 minute chat with me, answer all of your questions, lay out your entire publishing strategy uh, or book promotion strategy if your book is already out, because it's never too late to relaunch a book if you didn't do it right the first time. So this is true whether you're in the writing process, the marketing process, the book is already out, or you're working on your next book. So equally valuable for folks in all four of our buckets. Uh, I would love to talk to you and set you up for success even before the book, uh, Business Book Domination Program itself starts. By the way, we start on October 3rd, and uh, I think we go through November 21st because there's a couple of break weeks in there because of my travel. So we're actually spending eight weeks together. Don't tell anyone. We're spending eight weeks together because two of the weeks are break weeks or work weeks, uh, six active sessions, but it's over an eight-week period. So I thought I would throw that in as well. Finally, the mega bonus. The mega bonus is what I call the crazy bonus. So this is book promotion from me. Book promotion from me to all my email subscribers, of which there's about 40,000, all my social media followers, all my connections. This includes email blasts. So our email goes out to about 40,000 people. Uh, podcast guests, our podcasts get anywhere from 500 to 800 downloads per episode, social media promotion and video promotion on our YouTube channel. So this is major, major league promotion from me. So guess what? I am your first launch partner. I am your first launch partner. This I ordinarily would sell for $5,000. But again, for the first 10 people that hop in, I want to make sure that your book is successful. So you're going to get book promotion from me, email blasts, podcast guests, social media promotion, live stream promotion, YouTube promotion. Uh, we are going to sell a lot of books for you. We're going to sell a lot of books for you. Again, that's limited to the first 10 people only who enroll right now and during the Q&A. And again, 30-day unconditional love it or leave it guarantee. I want to make this so easy and such a no-brainer and so risk-free. Come do this with me for four weeks. You don't love it, you get the $29.97 back. Or if you did the $1,100 payment, we'll do the $1,100 back and cancel the remaining payment. So uh, this needs to be a no-brainer. For you, I want to make this easy. I want to make this fun. I want to make this effective. And I want to make this a turning point in your expert business and in your uh, author expert platform building efforts. So you're getting everything. Uh, we're opening up the kitchen sink plus, plus, plus. You'll know what to do at every step. You will build your book marketing machine. You're getting every key document, every key tool to write and market and promote your first or next nonfiction business book built around your expertise. You're going to get the exact templates, scripts, emails, tools, and documents that I've used to sell over 15,000 books, hit Amazon number one three times, stay in the top 20 of Amazon bestsellers continuously for 39 months, and I showed you the charts and graphs that prove that. And here's what you will create. A unique advantage in your business that you have not had before, instant credibility and preeminence with prospects. You're able to launch your book with confidence and clarity and control, create genuine excitement and desire for people to buy the book, read the book, share the book, review the book, and buy the book in bulk, and help you maximize your reputation, your reach, and your revenue. So I would encourage you, grab one of those first 10 spots. Businessbookdomination.com is where to go. And people might be asking, well, gee, Newman, this sounds great, but why are you doing this? Well, as I said, I just launched my new book in May of 23. It has done super well. It has sold three or 4,000 copies, 135 reviews, uh, six or 700 people have already opted in to get all of the book bonuses, and we're just getting started. So we did the, the February cohort that uh, Jeffrey was in and Annie was in, and they're still here on the call, I think. Um, and that was kind of pre-launch. And now we're doing this session post-launch, and after this, we're done. After this, we're done. I even told the February group, I said, I don't think we're doing this again. But of course, the post, you know, the post launch of the Do It Selling book, it's worth sharing those lessons. So the other reason I'm doing this, all these lessons are very fresh for me, even though I did it and mastered it in 2013 with book one, did it and mastered it in 2020 with book two, and did it and mastered it in May of 23 with book number three. I want to share with you what is working today in today's landscape, today's Amazon environment, what we're dealing with. There's some new obstacles and some new opportunities, and I want to help you navigate that as well. Now, big secret. If you haven't noticed during this webinar, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. This is actually fun for me. So please, shh, don't tell the others. Don't tell the others. But I have a great deal of fun teaching and mentoring this material. And as I've said, I've also done this for clients one-on-one -on -one and charged tens of thousands of dollars to do this privately. Uh, and you saw some of those screenshots, and you saw my client Ford, and you saw all the book covers of people that I've worked with. 
uh, in other ways to get them the results that we're talking about here for you. So when you're signing up at businessbookdomination.com, here's what's gonna happen. You will get the payment confirmation email. I will see that you're signed up, which is awesome, totally fantastic. Uh, you'll be added to the Business Book Domination list of cool people. And yes, Sam and Rachel and I do keep a list of Business Book Domination cool people. Uh, you're gonna get a welcome email probably tomorrow or possibly the next day, just depending on kind of the volume of people that we're processing and replying to. So welcome email with full details, training dates, logistics, how to get started, plus for the first 10 people, the one-on-one -on -one booking link to talk to me for your, your pre-session uh, pre consult. And that's only for people that enrolled during this masterclass and during the Q&A coming up. So we're about to do our Q&A. And if you have a question, if you asked a question earlier, I apologize if we missed it, please type your question in the question box. And uh, anything about today's teaching, anything about book writing or book marketing or book publishing, self-publishing versus traditional, everything we talked about with alignment and having the business support the book or the book support the business. While you're typing your question, I'm gonna grab a little spin drift. And I wanna also just review very quickly the summary because I know we covered a lot of territory, but pop the questions in the question box. Rachel's gonna grab those and send them to me and then we will answer everyone's questions. So going on the list here, three pay option, 1100 bucks a month, three months, 1100 month one, 1100 month two, 1100 month three. You wanna save a little bit of money, do the one-time payment of 29.97 when you pop over to businessbookdomination.com. We're doing the book marketing workshop. We're doing the book writing workshop with special pop-up sessions just for the writing. You're getting the book proposal workshop with the book proposal skeleton template and six complete book proposals that sold for anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000 of an advance. You're gonna get the special build your team training which includes the list of 25 plus business book agents and how to get the endorsers and the launch partners and the reviewers. You're getting my fill in the blanks bestseller template where you can literally see the book come to life. Everything's been pre-formatted. You don't need to pay uh, interior designer, the fonts, the formatting, everything is preset in that template for you. So that'll save you at least a thousand dollars, probably more. The one-on-one -on -one publishing strategy call with me if you're in the first 10, and we still have room in the first 10 as I'm speaking right now, your book promoted by me. So I will be your first launch partner, email promotion, podcast promotion, social media promotion, live stream and video promotion. We will sell lots and lots and lots of your book. You also have the 30 day love it or leave it 100% money back guarantee. If you're not delighted for any reason, let us know in the first 30 days. And remember it's six weeks of program, four weeks of guarantee. So you can actually hang out with us for four weeks and, uh, you know, you could theoretically take advantage of me. I don't think you will, but you could. Um, but I wanna make sure that this is an awesome, amazing experience for you. So the first 10 people that pop over right now to businessbookdomination.com, you're getting the publishing strategy call and your book promoted to my audience via email, podcast guesting, social media, live stream, and the YouTube channel. Ah, there it is, I can exhale. It's awesome, it's great. Still a little bit stuffy, still a little bit froggy, but what questions do you have? Rachel, feel free to pop the questions over to me in the question box, and we will work our way through all of said questions. So I'm just gonna pop that out there, get the timer going again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, can we get Jeffrey to, to pop in here? I think we can. Can we make Jeffrey a panelist? So Jeffrey Klein, the awesome and amazing Jeffrey Klein is here, and he said he would love to do a live testimonial. So let me make Jeffrey a panelist. I can either totally break this or it'll totally work, but uh, Jeffrey, can you unmute and say hi? Let's see if we can get Jeffrey unmuted here. Hello. Hey there, Captain, great to see you. I, I would love to have a live, a live client testimonial <laughs> endorsement from you, my friend. Yeah, I wanted to do this because um... <clears throat> I think there are a lot of people who are probably on the call who have thought about writing a book or started writing a book or even have a book. And I was in that boat for a while. And I looked at a bunch of different programs. I tried to do things myself and I started writing one book and I stopped. And, and then I did the business book domination program. And my book will be out in, what is the date? Within a month, my book should be out and available. I'm actually working with uh, people now who are gonna do a soft launch where they're gonna be able to buy the ebook for 99 cents. Well, I'm trying to figure out how it will get it done. That's the big takeaway. If you want to write a book, working with David and his program will give you everything you need 
and it'll help you actually get it done. The difference between thinking about, I'll get it done in a way that I think will make it successful. So you can write a book, you can publish a book, but you can't, you know, you have to have all the things set in the right places. And David is a resource maven. Uh, what I love about, I've done other things with David, is that he, he, he doesn't hold anything back. A kitchen sink is indeed what you get. That, and I, I concur with a lot of people who say, the actual template, it's amazing. It's like, oh my God, I just fill in the blanks. Um, and so for that, uh, the other thing that I think David doesn't talk about a lot is, you know, so for me, the writing was part A, but the marketing of the book, David is a marketing genius. And so the marketing of the book, how to prime the pump for Amazon, how to get endorsements. I have eight endorsements that I'm thrilled by. I have 20 reviews that have already been written and ready to go from launch partners. And so I think the thing is, um, you, have to, you have to look at all the little pieces and there's a lot. I don't think people realize there are a lot of moving parts to not writing, but then uh, launching a book. And David gives you everything you could possibly need. This program will take you from A to finished. Uh, and so I took the program in February and I wrote the book and, now, and then started working on, it's not just writing the book, then you have to edit it and then you have to edit it. So David helps with all those resources and lots of different ways to get it done. He tells you, he gives you the names of actual editors who can do, edit your book. Uh, he gives you people who can do interior design. He gives you trips and tricks and it's just amazing. And um, you, know, you can hear the enthusiasm in David's voice. I hope you can hear it in mine because this program was the difference between my book being kind of an idea-ish and not. And in fact, David, because I've written this book, I, I got booked for a speaking gig and the people who I'm speaking for are buying 500 books. Hey, so talking very about nice. bulk, bulk books, um, I'm gonna have, that's what I'm working, that's what I'm focused on right now is making sure that, that I have those books ready to go in, oh my God, three weeks, which I will, it's all good. Um, but it's really about, having the support, having the tools and resources you need to get your book from idea or written, but uh, wherever you are on that stage, if you're interested in getting your book out in the world and sharing it and feeling good and supportive about it, then you should not hesitate. You should jump quickly to take advantage of David's kindness and generosity. So thank you, David, as always, it is a pleasure. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Uh, you are an incredibly generous guy to hop on and share that spontaneous testimonial. And just so people know, no money changed hands and no cheesesteaks have changed hands either. Although the second minute, one, you and I might, I might be able to correct that one pretty soon. <laughs> Sounds good. Some cheesesteaks may in fact be exchanged for that beautiful testimonial. So awesome. So again, we still have some spots in that first 10. Businessbookdomination.com is where to go. And uh, our questions... So Clay is asking, if you want to use your book to help promote your business, consulting, and vice versa, how do you reconcile self-publishing versus publisher, given how long it could take to publish with a publisher? Well, so Clay, you know, the, um, the mantra with this is best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and second best time to plant a tree is today. Given the pros and cons that I shared, I'm a huge proponent now of independent publishing or hybrid publishing. Uh, you do not need a publisher, and uh, it is a much easier path. Uh, there, again, there's pros and cons to both, but remember, on both, both sets of cons, uh, you can supplement and complement uh, and fill in the gaps with some a la carte services, for example, book distribution and foreign translation rights, if you want, and some of the, the paid review placement services that will give you an honest review. You can't control if they like the book or not, but they, it's a guaranteed review in Library Journal or Kirkus Reviews or Publishers Weekly. Um, and of course, Amazon reviews is really where it's at. So when I say major media reviews, like none of my books, even the, the none of the three books really ever got a major media review. I mean, I got a mention in Forbes, I got a mention on MSNBC, but that was kind of like, you know, top five list or a quick interview or something like that. But uh, I, I wouldn't say that the major media reviews moved the needle for any of my books, uh, even though they were eligible for major media reviews. And they did get some major media reviews from, um, you know, various publications. Uh, from Carol, how many words are you suggesting in these short books? Totally fantastic. So anywhere from, let's say, 15,000 to maybe the mid-20s, so 15 to 25,000 words. And if you look at some of the example books, and I know that, Carol, you know our friend Phil Jones, you open up that book, big pull quotes, big typography, large margins, lots of white space. Um, that book is like a dense flourless chocolate cake. I, I want your book to be a dense flourless chocolate cake. So it's not sold by weight, it's sold by volume, right? So it needs to have heavy ideas and light on the words. So a traditional business book is anywhere from 40 to 60,000 words. Uh, we need to think in terms of half of that. So literally 15 to 25,000 words is plenty, 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 plenty. Um, if I wanna publish a non-business, non-fiction book, will I get benefit from the program? 
Uh, I well, I guess it depends. I don't think so. So you know, a nonfiction. I'm sorry, uh, non-business nonfiction, meaning it's a memoir or it's a uh, you know uh, factual history of uh, <clears throat> chocolate making in America. So if the book doesn't relate to your primary paid expertise as a consultant, as a coach, as a trainer, as a speaker, uh, my I would say probably not. And we I mean we've had some offbeat questions, not not from this crew today, but from previous folks. Uh, I'm writing a children's book. Will this help me? No, <laughs> this will not help you if you're writing a children's book. You can make a ton of money with children's books. I'm sure that there's all kinds of gurus in the children's book space. I am not one of them. Uh, so my specialization is helping B2B consultants, corporate coaches, professional speakers, trainers, agency owners write a nonfiction business book in and around their expertise and help them build a platform through that book to generate B2B clients from the Fortune 500, Inc. 5000, fast growing companies, big national firms, big multinational, international companies. That's what we do. So our main work is helping people uh, land corporate uh, coaching, consulting, agency, professional services type of assignments. And the book is one of the shortcuts that will get you there quicker. The book is one of the shortcuts that will get you there quicker. So I see about two minutes, two minutes on the clock. We're getting some questions about dates. So let me share some dates with you. Uh, we actually start next week. So we start on October 3rd. We've got a couple of break weeks in between. The sessions are generally Tuesdays at 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, we end on November 21st. Now, there's not a meeting every week because we're skipping a couple of the weeks. So I'm traveling to Seattle in the first week of October. So we're not meeting on the 10th. And I'm also traveling to Los Angeles in November. So what that means is those are break weeks or those are implementation weeks. So you get to catch up, you get to work on your book, you get to work on your book marketing platform, you get to watch some of the training, you get to engage with the folks in the Facebook group, you get to share some ideas. Uh, but we have six sessions over the course of those eight weeks. And each of the sessions is part training, part teaching, part Q&A, uh, part action planning and decision making on your part. And uh, you are rolling towards results with getting your book finished or getting your book marketed or putting together the launch team, the partners, the Amazon strategy, um, every aspect of this from uh, writing to marketing to promoting to launching to long-term success with your book. Uh, as Jeffrey said, everything is in here plus the kitchen sink. So um, I'm not seeing any more questions in the question box. So I will remand you to your own custody at this point. Thank you so much for hopping on. I am super excited. I see some folks joining us and uh, we still have some room in the first 10. So as you're inspired, feel free to pop over to businessbookdomination.com. We have all of these bonuses still active and happening. Love it or leave it, 30 day, 100% money back guarantee, still active and happening. And I can't wait to work with you on launching your best-selling business book built around the expertise that you're already brilliant at. And uh, let's sell a lot of books and let's help you generate a lot of revenue and reach and reviews and all those other words that start with the letter R. All right, team, I appreciate you. Thanks for being on. We'll talk soon.